This is the new Nokia E66, one of the company's brand new E-series uh, business device models. Unlike prior uh, E-series devices, uh, this one's uh, fairly well equipped for multimedia functions. You can see it has a 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera on the back. Um, it's also very slim, it's very good looking, has a very attractive metal body. Uh, it is very prone to fingerprinting though. Um, it gets really dirty looking pretty quickly. You can see it's a slider device, uh, has a few controls on the side, volume controls, there's a camera shutter button. Uh, unfortunately the camera shutter button doesn't actually activate the camera. You have to use a uh, menu for that. Slides open, it's uh, not too heavily sprung. I probably could have gone with uh, having a little bit of a stronger spring on it to keep it from opening accidentally in a pocket, but it has a nice keypad even if it's a bit low on the device. Uh, overall, nice feel, very high quality build, and you can see it has an auto orientation feature in the display. Automatically rotates the display in the application you're using, whether that's the standby screen like we're using right now or something else. Overall, it's a pretty nice physical design. Um, like I said, it's slim, it's reasonably light for uh, considering the build materials, and it's just all around good looking. So. One of the things that people might recognize as being slightly different from prior S60 smartphones is it now uses a home key instead of a weird yin-yang looking Nokia S60 menu key. The home key actually behaves differently too. When you're in the standby screen it does bring up the menu like you would normally expect, but when you're inside another application, let's just say we're in you know, the settings screen or something like that. When you press it now, it does take you back to the standby screen as opposed to just taking, to you, taking you to the main menu again like the older devices did. Uh, another thing you might have noticed as I was moving through there is the new transition screens. Everything's fading in and out and, you know, very smooth looking. It definitely, definitely adds a bit of polish to the device that wasn't there before. And again, the auto rotation. Uh, the auto rotation can be disabled. The E66 has a neat feature that allows you to mute an incoming call just by tapping on it twice or flipping it over. You can see we have an incoming call right now. I'm just going to tap on the screen twice. And it's not rejecting the call, it just silenced it. I can still answer it if I wish to. This is the active standby screen on the E66, and one of the things I wanted to point out was the new notification system. You see down here at the bottom, here and here, two little boxes that you can navigate to to get information from. Showing I have a text message and a call that came in. You can just click on one of them, go right to where you ought to be, like I can read the message now. So here we have you know, it's the E66. It's a very solid business phone from Nokia. It has a lot of personal type multimedia features for entertainment. Nice uh, overall design. It has Wi-Fi support. Uh, this particular model also has 3G support. Uh, a lot of good features in it. The only real complaint on the physical design is that it gets awfully dirty, but it's, uh, it is darn pretty. So there you have it, Nokia E66.